only you speak. Nobody else. Then I'll be okay to have this dialogue. As soon as somebody interviews them. Hatun, I've already told everyone, including yourself, that I can't stand your voice. Sorry, no offense to you, but that, that's, a, that's a fact. Oh. Why is it not nice? I'm telling the truth. You're a lady. Are you afraid? So what? She's a lady. Ladies do have some. Uh, that's a bit disappointing that you might talk about the chronic. Do you want to carry on this discussion or you want to whinge about her? Yeah. Not having a debate. No, but maybe we can talk about this and then we can talk about the chronic. No, I will talk. I'll talk with you one topic and then it's my turn. No. We agreed this already. We agreed this already. Bye bye. Yeah. Uh, you have been, you have been destroyed bye. Bye. She has already been destroyed on the topic that she wants to discuss with me. By Mansoor, not in one time, not two times, he not three didn't get but multiple yeah. times. But she was afraid to debate that topic because. Well, you can say afraid or whatever. Why no, you do listen to me. He didn't <laughs> give it him. A normal time. If somebody doesn't know the ABC of Arabic and we want to critique the Quran in Arabic, then there is something fundamentally wrong with that kind of The Muslims people. are hiding behind the fact that neither Hatun nor read Arabic because that's irrelevant. The truth is, if the Muslims were hiding, then the Mansoor wouldn't debate you guys so many times. Arabic words, okay, and you can hear we've got the Muslims from Speakers Corner to actually read the Arabic in front of us and admit there are changes. So uh, that's why. Are we, are we going to start this topic or what? Yeah. And remember, you're not going to go away and until I have my topic finished as well. Okay, because many times I've noticed that Christians come with the topic, they finish and then they walk away, saying we are out of time or some other excuse. If you want to, I, I So get let's be fair, because Godwin has done this many times before. You want to two minutes, two minutes? Two minutes, two minutes, I, I think we are both... No, 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 we are both grown up, and I think we can handle a nice dialogue without having a timer. Very good. Not really. Okay, Not let's start. Come on, go on. Tell me what's your so, um, topic. So, my topic today is that I, my proposition is that the Quran talks about Jesus in a way that's even superior to Allah. Okay. So, for example, uh, let's just start with the Hadith, right? When he talks about the judge. Now, as a Muslim, do you believe that Jesus will come like a judgment day? Jesus will come before the judgment day. Yeah, okay. So, let me read this Hadith, right? And I'll ask you if you want to agree with it. Okay, so it's from Bukhari, 455657. Narrated Abu Huraira, Apostle. Sorry, Allah's Apostle said, By him in whose hands my soul is, surely Jesus, the son of Mary, will soon descend amongst you and will judge mankind justly. He will break the cross and kill the pigs and there will be no, there will be no jizya, taxation from non-Muslims. We start again somewhere else. Okay, can, you, can you say it in your own words? What, what did you understand by that? Okay. Uh, basically, that Jesus will come and he will judge justly. Okay, that, this is the bit I want to pick up on. He also does some things that I think just are a bit weird. So he will break the cross, so he's like being a vandal, which I'm not sure what I Why didn't you read that? Out? Oh, I did mean to read it. Sorry, he will break the cross. So carry on. Okay. Carry on. And kill the pigs, so he'll yeah. kill animals. This is all about judgment day. Why would he do that? Yeah. Well, he did that and in the there will be well. no jizya, taxation taken from non Muslims. Okay. Money will be in abundance so that nobody will accept it. And a single prostration to Allah in prayer will be better for the whole world and whatever is in it. Okay, Abu Huraira added, if you wish, you could recite this verse in the Holy Book. And there is none of the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, but must believe in him before his death. This is talking about Jesus, right? Yes. And on the day of judgment, he will be a witness against them. Okay, so here's the thing. He'll be a, he'll be a witness for them or against them? Against them. Against them. Okay. So, Get that clear. so here's the thing. This is the bit I want to focus on. Jesus will judge justly. Yeah? Judge now, him. will judge justly. Now, according to Sahih Muslim, so it's 6666, I think, which is 6669, says that Allah will take the sins of Jew, of Muslims and put them on Jews and Christians so that Muslims can get to paradise. Can you show me now, that verse? Don't you think? Can you show me the verse? Think, yeah. Read don't the verse? That, Instead of saying it in your words, why didn't you read the verse what he says in the Quran? Huh? No, read. the Hadith. Oh, is that, so bring up the Hadith and then we read it. Okay. Having experience with DCCI in the past, you can understand why I asked this question. I brought up this hadith with you before, Hashim. There's no point in not reading it again. I've read many verses in the Bible, several, multiple times. So you know it's there, okay? Did I tell you it's not there? I just tell you to bring it up and read it. That's all I said. So Jesus will break the cross. Mm, I wonder what that means. Means do not follow the cross. That is not. 
the real religion. Are you finding it while you're finding that? I'm just entertaining except, the people who are getting caught. Except, except that completely contradicts the Jesus of the Bible that the Quran says it's come to confirm. Because in the Bible it says every knee will bow before Jesus, whether willingly or unwillingly, and also that his cross is the means through which, the only means through which we are saved. So that shows me again in well, the Quran doesn't say you have to agree with the Bible, does it? The Quran actually categorically says it's been corrupted. Obviously not everything in the Bible has been corrupted, yes, but there are many things that are corrupted in the Bible. For example, all the prophets and all the messengers believed in one God, not the triune God that Lizzie and her DCCI and Bob the Builder believes in. You see, this is, this is what Jesus did not preach even in the Bible. Every time I ask them this question, they're unable to show me any verses where Absolutely. Jesus advocated a trinity. Absolutely. Okay, but We're carry on. While, while you're looking for that, I'm just speaking to the camera, so we don't waste time here. So what I'm saying is that if this was the case, that the hadith clearly says that Jesus will come in a second coming and break the cross, yes, which is exactly telling them that this is telling, a, sending a clear sign to the Christians. Okay, Who carries the cross Sorry. around the neck? Yes, sir. Christians. Sir? Sir? Telling them it's false religion. Okay. Carry on. Sir. Right. Okay. Sahih Muslim 2767. Okay, this is one of them. There are others. Yeah. Narrated from Abu Musa. Okay, from the Prophet. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. He said, On the day of resurrection, some of the Muslims will come with sins like mountains, but Allah will forgive them and will put the sins onto the Jews and the Christians. So this hadith is Sahih. Okay. Carry on reading. So, wait a minute. The meaning is there at the bottom okay. there. Read this here with regard to the meaning. Read okay. that bit. No. Okay. How do I know? Why should I no, read no, this? So you read from the same source? <laughs> why should I read Look, she doesn't want to read the meaning no, now. Why should I read the no, You're taking it out of context. Why do you not want to take it on face You're not value? Value? The thing why is, the thing is we as, as Muslims, we are told to consult the ulama, the scholars if you don't know. Ah, it says in the Quran. your own sources cannot no, speak you no, no, no. The, the Quran tells us this. Lizzie, Lizzie, why are you afraid to read it? Why are you afraid to read it? What happened? Why are you scrolling down now? She knows the meaning is there, but still she doesn't want to go by that. She's looking at IslamQA.com. Okay, let's read yes. it. Yeah, you know, let's read okay. it. Let's read it. Read the okay. meaning. Okay, first of all, I just want to make the simple point. I want to yeah, make two on. simple points, okay? Firstly, what a shame that your Quran and your Hadith simply don't speak for themselves. Instead, you have to go through the interpretation of fallen, mortal, weak human beings in order to understand what Allah is telling you. That's a shame. I don't have to do Isn't that. Isn't that what my Christians Bible. do? My Bible like Bob the speaks always says, for itself. We follow my the church. Bible speaks the church for apostles. Itself. The church okay. acts. The church Secondly, wife. secondly. That's exactly yeah. what they do. Secondly. Double standards. Okay. Also, I just want to come back to the original uh, premise of this debate, which was that actually, even according to the Quran, Jesus is more just than Allah. Yeah, now, let me show you. I've given you one hadith Bring that says that Jesus, okay, will judge mankind justly. Where's your now, I've got a question for you guys. Yeah? Are, you, are, you are you having a debate with me? Are you yeah, having a lecture? No, but this is, no, but this is not, not a lecture. lecture. Lizzie, Lizzie, this is not a lecture. Anybody think that it's just, okay, if I've done something, yeah, if I've done something, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know. She's I, preaching I now. Murdered She's somebody. preaching. I murdered somebody and then you were she sent to prison now, but... because I was a Muslim and because you're not a Muslim, uh, that actually it suddenly becomes your fault. Do you think that's, do you think that's right? Do you think that's just? Can I respond? Do you think that's just? Can I respond to that? Do you think anyone think that's just? Can I respond? Hey, I don't think Lizzie, that's Lizzie, you want everyone to respond? Do you think that's Except just? the person she's debating. Okay, Hashim, yeah, okay. you're right, you're right. You're right. So, so the person... Do you think that's so, just? Okay, do you think what? that's just that I commit sin, yeah. Yeah? I commit sin, and then rather than Allah punishing me uh, for, for my sin, he says, oh, well, because you're a Muslim, I'm just going to take it off, and I'm going to put it on a Jew or a Christian instead. Isn't that what Jesus does? Is that just? Is that just? Isn't that no, what Jesus does on the cross? No, it's not. Takes the sin upon him. You're of not. all the sinners in the world. Yes. And the very person who's asking me this question, is this just? Why don't you ask your own self? Is a crucifixion just by killing an innocent man and putting the sins of the whole world, including yours, onto him? Okay. To me, that is the exactly. biggest injustice. Okay. No. Now wait, you were said you were going to read the meaning. Absolutely. I will, I will. Answer my the question. answer is in that meaning which you didn't read. Right, okay, so just to entertain Hashim, right? I don't personally think that we are bound to follow one particular Muslim's version over another. So I don't think this is authoritative. I don't actually think Hashim thinks it? this is authoritative oh, no. either. Okay, but this is what it Read says. the meaning of that verse. This is what it says. Sorry, okay. that hadith. With regard to its meaning, Al-Nawawi said in his commentary, the meaning of this hadith is the same hadith of 
of Abu Huraira. For each person there is a place in paradise and a place in hell. When the believer enters paradise, his place in hell is taken over by the kafir because he deserves that because of his kafir. Carry on, carry he deserves on. it because of his kafir, right? Kafir so means disbelief. Yes, disbelief. disbelief. Okay. Carry on. So he deserves it because of yeah. his kafir. The meaning of your phrase, your ransom from the fire, is that you could have entered hell, but this is your ransom. So you are having a problem with Jesus because he ransoms himself. Carry on, and then he talks. Yeah. Carry on. Okay. Because Allah has decreed a certain number to fill it, and the kafir will enter hell because of their kafir and sins. This is like a ransom for the Muslims. Just enough now. Enough now. It's not finished yet. Jews and Christians. That's all I need. Thank you. That's all I need. Jews and Christians. Wait a minute. This is really important. Jews and Christians are somehow the ransom from hell from Muslims. Mm, but let's get back to let's get back to our original. Why didn't you finish it? Let's get back. Why didn't you finish it? I think I've got all I need to know. I don't think so. I've got all I, need I think to you know. will. You I've have got stopped. All I need to know. Because you don't want I've got to finish it. All I need to know. I want to know. See what I mean? I want to know. Why? I want to know. Okay. Why? Allah thinks that is just, and yet we have Muhammad, we have Jesus, who will, it just says he will judge justly. So I think this process is one way, I've got other ways, in which Jesus is superior to Allah. Let me give you another example. Can I, I think to that? Jesus is a superior creator. Can I respond? Because all you're doing is sound okay, bites, sure, respond, and instead of respond. asking us, what do you think about justice between the creator and the creation? In Islam, Jesus is a creation of Allah. Do you agree? Because you're, going, you're, agree. you're asking, so I don't agree. No, no, you're asking me from Islamic perspective. Okay. Yes. I'm answering you from the yeah. Islamic perspective. Yeah. One of the names of Allah is Al Adl. That means He is the most just. Hmm. Allah cannot do injustice by killing an innocent man like Jesus and hanging him on the cross and then saying, It's my turn now, Lizzie. And then saying, All the sins of all these believers in Jesus is forgiven by the blood of this innocent man. So the very attribute of Allah, His mercy, yes, His rahmah, His compassion, this is not present in the Christian God. Because according to them, according to Jesus, no one can be, sorry, the only way they can forgive, he can forgive is by the shedding of blood. Okay, there is no. Let me respond. No, no, I, haven't okay, let me respond. I haven't finished yeah. yet. Quickly. Is it? I haven't finished. Yeah. You can't say quickly. I gave you okay, ample chance to look at it. So no one can be forgiven except by the spilling of blood. This is a clear verse in the Bible, in the New Testament. Okay, you, see, you see, they are dependent. That God is intrinsically dependent on the spilling of blood of the innocent in order for him to forgive. Without the spilling of blood, they cannot forgive. Now going back to your okay. question. Notice because what I will Hashim you has wrong. done. Notice what Hashim has done. Okay? Hashim has gone straight to the Bible and he's actually not dealt with the fact that the Hadith that I have talked about actually exposes huge problems no, for the Quran. Okay, we see a God actually who does exactly this thing that Hashim is so outraged about. He is taking a third party, a creation, to pay the sins for another creature. Even in the Quran itself, this is a clear contradiction from the Quran. The Quran says that no person can bear the burdens of another. And yet here we go, Allah is doing, making people do exactly that. So the very thing that Hashim is outraged about because of Christianity, and he's got that wrong, I'm going to explain about that in a minute, okay? happens in his very I own scripture. It. So what Hashim has done very well is exposed what a muddle, no, what a taking, muddle the Quran is, what a you're muddle not, you're, you're Islam is. And, but do you know what the, do you know what Islam also says? That if you Muslims are confused, because obviously Hashim is confused about the kind of just God Allah is, you're meant to talk to the people of the book. No, well, no, isn't absolutely this wonderful? Not. You have absolutely someone of the not. book right here and I'm going to explain that to you. Let me answer his objection where he actually says, oh, you know what, this is exactly what Jesus does. And this is how, another way in which Allah, silly Allah, obviously he forgot what he was doing before Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad now got Now you're mocking God. Yeah. You're silly. No, calling not, go, calling Allah, you're silly. this is the God of the, look, this look, is look, the look, God of the 30 million Arab Christians you're silly. that she's mocking. And he's still a how silly God. You are. You're and he's still a false God. And whether he's the God of one person or 30 million people, if he's still a false God, he is to be mocked. And he is, you are to be presented with the true God. And this is, the true God is Jesus Christ, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Yahweh God who died on the cross for you. Now, this is why Jesus is not how Hashim, Hashim is describing the Jesus that is basically a fiction of Muhammad's head, all right? Muslims, you this do not, that you are silly. You not you believe are the Jesus that no is effectively is a fiction made up by Muhammad. You need to believe in the historical Jesus preaching, no. and, the Jesus Jesus the Bible, and the Jesus this of the Bible. This is the reason we don't discuss with the DCC. Wait a minute. Because, because they do not have a dialogue.
dialogue. Loose. They That's have a free shoot. Let's be loose. Well, Are you coming here to win wait, points? Yeah. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm coming here to tell you that, as you know very well, Christian scripture teaches that Jesus is not a human creature. He is not a, he, a creation of God. That he is a Let God man. He is God in the flesh. Okay, and he is the only sinless person that ever lived. That ever lived. And therefore, he was uniquely qualified. He wasn't just an innocent third party. He was God in the flesh who chose to die for the sins of mankind and he was uniquely qualified to do that because he was sinless. Okay, that's answer your question. Now I'm going to give you another point. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's my turn. Point. Lizzie, Jesus you're preaching is now. A superior. Now you're that. preaching, Just honestly. No, no, it's my turn. Let's Jesus be fair. Jesus is a okay. superior I think, I think creator this is... to Allah. No. Jesus no. is a superior no. creator he's, to Allah. He's a prophet of God, okay. a messenger of God. Did you know that Jesus is a prophet of God, a messenger of God? Okay, Lizzie, 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 Lizzie,
which is completely in line with the words which, I, which, I, which I just read to you okay, from the time. Quran in Surah Al-Fatir, chapter 35, verse 18. You've had a long time. Okay. Okay. So, first of all, this explanation, which I don't accept anyway, is completely inadequate. It may be because this is what it says. It may be that the meaning is, this is of Allah putting the sins on, of Muslims onto Jews and Christians. Maybe that the meaning, meaning of this is, is sins which the kuffar, it's very derogatory, innovated and initiated because whoever starts a bad thing will bear a burden like that of each person who does that thing. The fact is, whether or not the unbelievers started anything is irrelevant. The fact is, this hadith doesn't say Allah is going to send the disbelievers to hell. And that's it. That, theologically, from an Islamic system? point of view, I would get. But what is unacceptable, and it's even unacceptable, even within Islam, is that somebody should be sent to hell for the sins of somebody else. That a Muslim, that a Christian, should be sent to, the, to hell for the sins of the Muslims. That's completely different. That's clearly, and it shows us how confused Islam is, because Allah, there you have directly, uh, the sins, the Jews and Christians are bearing the sins of other people. It's not for their own sin, but the fact of the disbelief, they are actually bearing the sins of other people. But now, I would like you to respond to my second point, which is that Jesus is a superior creator to Allah. Okay? Oh, creator? Me, yes. He is. Do you know why? Why? Okay, so do you know that? Do you know that he? Oh, you're going to another topic now? Yeah. No, no. Oh, it's, it's my no, turn no. now. Sorry, the same topic is Jesus is superior to Allah. No, okay? first you said so justice. First all, wait a minute. Your first topic was with regards to the justice of Jesus. No, is my superior. topic has always been that actually Jesus is a superior being to Allah. So how many topics okay, have you got? He's more just. No, no, it's my turn now. I'm sorry, Lizzie. A better Lizzie, I'm sorry. It's my it's turn now. You can use it. A better you can, yeah, you can put that can as I your next. But after, no, you don't tell me. You can tell me why after I finish my topic. No, this is my turn now. No, it's my no, turn. Lizzie, it's my it's turn. My turn. I'm sorry, you it's had your turn. turn. No, you had your turn. Okay. About justice, you already had your turn. Hashim, I've just got started. Why didn't I want to talk about the Quran? Come on, man. Come on, look. Look, that doesn't work you. with me. My work in the church, you. not with me. You. Now it's my turn. Okay. Now answer this. No, no, answer no, the question. No, no. no, no. Why answer are you this question. Away? Why are you running away? You see what I mean? We are dealing with kids here now. How old are you, Lizzie? Sorry, it's not right. It's not right to ask a woman her age, is it? Okay. Anyway, she's an adult. Starting to be insulting because you're getting a bit threatened. Asking, wait a minute. Asking your age is insulting. Why are you lying? Why do you lie, Lizzie? Why do you lie? How did I insult you? You insulted Allah on the camera. Yes? By, by mocking him. He's by a false saying, God. by he's saying, a false no, God. it is a false God. Yeah, he's a false what did, God. what did, what is the exact word she used? Yeah. Foolish Allah, isn't it? Yes. Silly. So this, I this liar silly. here now is saying she's just foolish. saying. Okay. He, so he now, now, now she's saying that the Allah, that the Christians, you know, the Arab Christians, the Arab Christians, and the, of course they do. The Arab Christians and the Jews, they say the word Inshallah, Alhamdulillah. You know why they use the word Allah? Because that's how they represent. Sorry, that's how they refer to in Arabic. To God. Now this woman is telling you that that God which they use as Allah is a silly God. Now you tell me, you tell me who is silly. The one who is the creator of all, including, including, including his creation. Who's actually showing his back parts to Moses when he says, "Let me see your face because I cannot see it because it's divine." They got lots of such jokes in the Bible. That's the Bible your Quran confirms, sir. No, it doesn't confirm. The Quran says the Bible has been corrupted. The, 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 the Torah and the Injil have been corrupted. That's in the Bible. So stop saying the Quran confirms the Bible. It doesn't. Okay, the, top, the, the topic is very simple. My topic is. So we have finished my topic. Oh, no, no, it's my topic. I'm sorry. Lizzie, Jesus, let's be fair. You had your turn. Listen, now it's my turn. I'm going to be nice to you. Nice You're going to be nice to me? Oh, that's a real nice honor for me, actually. Otherwise, she, she's not nice to me usually, but today she's nice. Even even though you have been mocking Allah, and then she's saying, I'm being nice to you. You know, it's like the Christians. They say, oh, we slap you two, three, and then we say, we love you. <laughs> you see what I mean? This is the hypocrisy you know of Lizzie. It's a loving thing to do to expose a false god for what he is. And to show you the real You haven't shown him the false god yet. I am going to show you, first of all, already in this topic. It's my turn, Lizzie. No, 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 no. So I'm going to ask a question to you now. If you believe Jesus Christ is your God and your Savior, no, I'm going to, it's my turn. Lizzie, let's be fair. No, 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 that's the second topic. You can do your one more thing after my, my, no, no, it's not the same topic. No, it's not the same topic. You're talking about the creator. Actually, it wasn't. It's the same topic. The topic was. I get two topics as well then. Is that fair? 
No, it's one which topic. No, it's not one topic. Superior to Allah. No, that wasn't your topic. topic. Your topic was. And you can't have your cake. And it's, it's on camera. Her topic was why is Allah, why is Jesus more just than Allah? No, that was the topic. Now she changed the topic, reworded it, and said why Allah is. Go back to the video and see that the topic is. Yeah, can you can you rewind the video? See, because this wasn't there. You were there. Superior even in the Quran yes. to Allah. Okay. It's not and superior the first, at all. The first point I made was about Jesus' justice. Jesus is much more. Just than Allah Himself. Now, my second point, and then we don't have to finish after that because we're going to well. all right? The second point I'm making on the same topic is that Jesus is a superior creator. Okay, let me give you my evidence. I'd like you to respond. Okay, so this is Surah 349. Right? Okay, this is about Jesus and make him the messenger to the children of Israel. He will say, Indeed, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, and that I designed for you from clay that which is like the form of a bird. And I breathe into it, it becomes a bird by the permission of Allah. And I cure the blind and the leper, and I give life to the dead by permission of Allah. And I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your houses. Indeed, and that is a sign for you if you are a if you are believers. So I don't okay, believe so that Isa Jesus, is right? Jesus. Jesus takes a bird, a clay bird, Jesus is blows into it, a bird comes alive. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, creating out of nothing, and creating life where there was so out of clay. Jesus is a clay false man. Okay, who was okay, but it's inanimate. It's inanimate, right? Clay is inanimate. Yeah, clay is inanimate. By whose permission? You forgot that bit. By whose permission? Yes. Say it. Say it. Say it. By Allah's permission. Thank you. Okay, no but like, this is exactly what Acts 2.22 says. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. But, but like, permission, even with, with permission or without God. permission, God. Jesus still, Isa, has still has the power, doesn't he? Yeah, who gave him the power? He, the power? he has the power within himself. But who gave him the power? Permission or no permission. <laughs> permission or no permission. Permission is the most important thing. Permission or no permission to create life out of an inanimate object. I can't have told you God draws the dead back to life. No big deal. Who else does that? Who else does that? Okay. Who is the creator? Who gives life where there is nothing where it's out of inanimate objects, inanimate stuff? Who makes life? Who is the only being that does that? No, you are not a being. Who is it? Answer my question. Who is the only being that does that? In the Bible. Who creates life? Out of nothing. Who in, is the only in, being that does that? In the Old Testament, we have. You're not answering my question. I am, I am. I can answer the way I want. In the Old Testament, there's actually a verse which says that there was a prophet, I believe, is it? That he was. No, not he. Someone who fell into a grave. Yes, and he just touched the bones of a dead donkey. Inanimate. Bones are inanimate. Yes? If you go to the Bible, is this a he, he was given life. Now you tell me your own Bible tells that even a dead donkey had the ability to give life. So why are you making a big deal about Jesus giving life by the permission of Allah? To whom Allah wishes to give life to. Now the Bible says, wait, I haven't finished yet. In Acts 2.22, it says the same thing. It says Jesus was a man accredited by God, yes, who did great, Jesus. who did miracles and great signs in the, uh, by, uh, sorry, by the permission of God, yes, by the permission and the power of God. Now this is exactly what the Bible says, that Jesus was who? He's a man, man who was given the power by whom? By God, by his God. So if Jesus raises the dead back to life, it is by, he says in the name of God, Yes? Yeah. By the power of God, by the finger of God, I raise you, whatever it is. So at the end of the day, if you're talking about Jesus having the ability to raise birds from clay, then that's no big deal because he was given that ability. Okay, can I, can now wait, 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 wait. Can wait. I respond? Let me respond. Actually, Hashim is not the scripture. Really? Because what he said very clearly is was permission. Permission. The fact is, with permission or without permission, just like, uh, I don't know, if you, if, um, I don't know, if, if you, I have the potential in me, right, to arm wrestle, I wouldn't be very good at it, I have the potential to, okay, but I'm not going to do that unless that you give me permission. <laughs> Another time. <laughs> okay? But at the moment, you've not given me the permission to arm wrestle. The fact is, I have the potential to do it. The fact is, permission or no permission, Jesus has that power. Permission or no permission to create life out of nothing. Okay, but let's look. Wait a minute. 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 But also, let's look at how Allah Himself creates. Let's look at how Allah Himself creates. Now, how does um, Allah create Adam? 
Yeah, he creates Adam he out of faith. Let's look at Surah 1711. The I think. But there's an father. interesting no tafsir about this. Okay, this is Surah 1711. Let me just pick it up. The one Jesus we have is a his, his father, his biological father is Joseph. Oh, it's all, all it. Yes. Okay, maybe anyway, I think it's sort of 3.59, sorry, 3.59. Adam is created out of clay, okay? But if we look at Ibn Kathir about how Adam is created, right? Then what do we find? We find that actually it takes Allah quite a while to create Adam. Are you he is not... Yeah. So does Allah create from nothing? Because, or not? because wait, because um, I'm just saying that basically Jesus is a superior creator because he's really fast and Allah's really slow, right? Oh, you mean the space? So he gets, he gets the clay woman, bird, Jesus and that does, woman, blows into the Bible, a has a father. Allah created Jesus, Jesus. Has a father. Oh, he's more superior. Okay. But but Allah created to Jesus. Create Allah, but Jesus for Allah to create Adam, for Allah to create Adam, wait, wait, wait. it takes him, You're not in the debate, it what? takes him Look quite a while. It Jesus takes him Christ. quite a while. Why does it take well, him so long? Seriously, Where does it say it takes him so long? Show me where it says it takes a while. Whatever, with a rabbi. And not only that, his mother was purified after his bed, after his, after his <laughs> no, bed. Just, uh, so relax, after relax, just chill, you, chill. You, no, just, I don't just don't find this where it says it took him a while. a woman after a birth. Okay. She has to purify according to the Jewish law. Impossible. Allah says, and man is ever hasty. Someone al Farisi and Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet. When his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body. So soul first, it enters his body. Okay, from his head downwards. When it reached the brain, he sneezed. It's all taking a bit of a while, isn't it? And said, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. And Allah said, May your Lord have mercy on you, O Adam. When it reached his eyes, so you got brain, sneeze, eyes. Just giving more detail. Yeah. He opened him, and when he reached his body and limbs, he suddenly body then limbs. Okay, he started to stare at them in wonder. He wanted to get up before it reached his feet. So it's like the spirit is making like Frankenstein. The spirit is making him alive, kind of gradually, gradually. Okay, and then what he has has to say, he says, "Oh Lord, make it happen before night comes." Like, come on, Anna, get a move on. The fact is, Anna's creating, but it's just taking quite a long time. Where does it say where the night comes? Show me that. Oh Lord, he wanted to get up before it reached the feet, the spirit, but he could not. He said, Oh Lord, make it happen, Adam, before night comes. So Adam was already alive and created because he could speak. Yeah, but he's saying, Hey, Anna, you need to hurry up and finish me. You need to hurry up and finish making me. So where does it? Wait, isn't it weird? Wait a minute. You know, where's Jesus? Where does it say? Wait a minute. Is that is that really Frankenstein? Is that really your, your Try argument? Not to laugh. Frankenstein. I think you, you, no, no, you keep mocking Allah. You know, you, that's, that is inbuilt in Christians, especially the DCCI. They love mocking, the no, mocking God. Okay, let's read. Okay, are you are you consistent in your argument? Is he any his next? Wait, 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 bro, bro, bro. Listen, listen to what Allah says in the Quran. She keeps saying the Quran. In the Quran, Jesus, because he created this bird from the clay very quickly, that makes him somehow superior to Allah. But, but wait, did, you know, in the in the creation of Adam, did anyone see by the permission of anyone that Allah did it? No. You only see this in the case of Jesus, because clearly Allah wanted to point out to you that without His permission, He couldn't even lift His hand, let alone. Create no, no, no. a create a but no, it's my turn. This is my turn. No, you have it. You have it. So let it, let's see. Let's actually make her understand what Allah says with regards to Jesus, and this is a specifically this is specifically addressing the Christians in this verse in chapter four, verse seventy-one. See what Allah says here. Oh, people of the scripture, do not commit excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth, Lizzie. Yes, obviously the word Lizzie is not there. I'm just telling you. Okay. It says here, the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, not the son of God, the son of Mary, yes, was but a messenger of Allah and his word which he directed to Mary and a soul at a command from him. So believe in Allah and his messenger and do not say three desist it is better for you indeed allah is but one god exalted is he about having a son okay so allah doesn't have a son allah doesn't have a son like the christian like the christian uh, god who requires a son to kill him for the sins of mankind by his own creation so god killed by god sorry god god destined to be killed by another god by his own creation 
Can you okay, hear can we finish? Tony talking about the Trinity? Well, we have already, we have already seen what what a, what a hat trick Phony has been talking so far. So he can jump like a Phony if he wants. That's fine, no problem. Okay, so let's see. Who experienced this on the top? She even prays like a monkey. Is it a monkey or I don't know whatever that's noise? Pony, whatever that noise. Oh, is that a that's a very bad sound you made that of a pony. Okay, go on. And then he says, and do not say three desist. It is better for you. Indeed, Allah is but one God, exalted is he about having a son. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And sufficient is Allah, a disposer of affairs. So according to Allah, everything belongs to him, including Jesus, including Muhammad, including Moses. All of them, all of them were given the ability to do certain miracles. For example, Moses had the ability to part the sea. Did Jesus have that ability? No, we did not see the evidence of that. So Moses is now more powerful than Jesus because Jesus couldn't do that according to a logic. Just because somebody doesn't do it according to the way Lizzie wants it, then it must be wrong. So Moses is much more powerful than Jesus based on that particular um, evidence of Moses splitting the sea. Now we go back to Jesus. What did Jesus say in Matthew 5.30? I can of my will do nothing. How powerful is it? Lizzie, even you can do something without the will, without, uh, with your own will, by your own desire. You can do many things. The reason she can do is because according to her logic and according to her Bible, she is more powerful than Jesus. She can do things by her own will. Jesus cannot do things by his own will. I can by my will do nothing. As I hear, I obey. So who is more stronger here? Lizzie or Jesus Christ? Using Lizzie's logic. There we go. Okay. Notice how Hashim failed, failed, and failed again to answer my question, my objection. We weren't talking about the Bible just now. We weren't talking about the Bible just now. We were talking about the Quran. We were talking about the testimony of the Quran, the testimony of Islamic scripture that actually, even according to Islam, Jesus is more powerful than Allah. I, at the beginning of my uh, of this uh, discussion, I said that actually the Quran teaches that Jesus is more just than Allah, and also I made the, the point that Jesus is a better creator than Allah. Why? Because he can pick up a clay bird, blow into it, boom, and it becomes life. Allah, when he wants to create Adam, what does he have to do? He has to kind of go slowly, 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 like Frankenstein, first of all, head, first of all, brain, oops, and Allah has to sneeze. And then even poor Adam has to tell Allah to get on with it. Allah, please, can you hurry up? Can you make me before nighttime? Even Jesus is a superior creator. But not only that, I'm going to finish with this and then we can do um, Hashim's topic, right? Which is that even the names of Allah, even the names of Allah, Okay, are uh, names that Jesus has. The You're names that can be applied now. to Jesus. No, same thing, same thing. So they're not going to finish, okay? Wait, Allah is called for the truth, right? Allah is the truth. Jesus is called the truth. John 14, 6. Um, Allah is called the resurrection. Jesus is the resurrection. I am the resurrection and the life. Um, whoever believes in me shall never die. But he who lives and believes in me will not die. Okay. Allah is the first and the last. Even according to... Even Jesus calls himself, it's called the first and the last in Isaiah. So is Melchizedek. Okay, in Revelation 22, 13 to 16. So, in so You're many different ways, the in so many Lizzie, different on, ways, even according to the Quran, even according to the Quran, Jesus is superior to Allah. No, absolutely let's not. Now let's do, your, let's do your topic. Okay, my topic is quite simple. It's with regards to Jesus again. Okay, do you believe that Jesus Christ, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, do you believe they have one consciousness or do they have multiple consciousness? Scripture doesn't tell us. So do you know? I don't know, Scripture doesn't tell us. Scripture. Do you know about your God? Scripture doesn't tell us, that's my answer. Okay, is it possible they have a different? different uh, consciousness. This is going to be very short, seriously, because scripture we like short discussions. Us, scripture doesn't tell us. Is that your answer? Scripture, yeah. scripture doesn't so tell So I'm not going to extrapolate okay. on something that scripture doesn't tell me. So I go by what the revelation tells me. The revelation doesn't tell me a whole lot of things. Lizzie, the scripture, sorry, scripture doesn't, the scripture tell, doesn't tell me tell about you. consciousness. It doesn't go into detail about consciousness between the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So I'm not going to have a debate about it because I'm not going to go beyond what has been written. Okay. Is that it? You believe in one God, right? You believe that this one God it consists of Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, okay. Is one God a being? It's three. It's three. 
three persons and one God. That's what's three good. persons and one God. Okay. Is it is God one being or more than one being? Why are you trying to get to me to talk about the being of this? Okay? When actually I'm going by what the revelation says. Why are we having a philosophical conversation in the abstract when, like I say, I want to talk about what God is according to how scripture reveals it. And scripture very clearly reveals that it's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So you said God is three persons? Three persons. One God. Where did the scripture? God in three persons. Where is that in the Bible? You said you don't take anything else in the scripture. Show me where it says in the scripture that there are three persons in one God. Well, <coughs> I can give you some places. John, I would like to see where it says three, three persons in one being. Or one, sorry, one God. Should say. As long as you're not going to get all excitable about you know, the exact words fallacy, you're not going to demand the exact well, words. I will, I will, I will call you out. I will call words. you out when you miss translate the words like the word immortal trying no, to no, translate no. it as eternal no, no. <laughs> i'm going to call you out when you clearly disregard the are you going to answer the question or stop, will you stop complaining and answer the question one word. remember lizzie said she will not take anything outside the scripture so let's see where in the scripture it says three persons in one god god Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, one name, the name, singular, okay? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Where does it say they are God? To obey everything I've come. Oh, you're doing the exact words, Pamasi. No, you said, you said three persons, one God. Did anybody see one God there? I heard three, three people having one name. I'll give you that. Okay, they have a common name. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, Who, but the thing is, is she said... Whose name is it? Sorry? Whose name is it? Whose name? Yes. You tell me. No, you tell it's me. Saying, it doesn't Whose mention the name, name actually. It doesn't mention the name. Whose name is it? It does not Let's mention think. the name. No, wait a minute. You're right. It doesn't mention the name. So we have to work it out. We have to what work it out from the rest of the Bible. But what is that one name? Go on, tell me. Let's see. What is God's name? Yes. Yahweh. What is it? In the New what Testament. Does, how does Jesus identify himself? Yahweh. Right? We have to put all so of Jesus together. is Yahweh, we according to, to her. Did Yahweh die? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Remember, what she, remember what she just done. The name of She's God. saying Yahweh is Jesus. Name of Peter. Seriously. Does it mean the name of, I don't know, Jews, they will say no. Lizzie or Hashim? It means the name of God. The name. Where in the Old Testament it talks about my name coming to dwell on earth. My name coming to dwell in the temple. But you know, that's what it's talking about, which means the name of God Almighty. So thank you. You, you do admit that. Lizzie, it's Lizzie, you haven't answered the question. You said three persons in one God. We did not see the word God there, oh, you are or we did not see the word three persons there. We're so why do you, you see, when I use the, fallacy. when I use the word being, word she didn't fallacy. like it. She said it's not in the scripture, but, as, but she can use the word person, yes, which is not in the scripture, it's defining the three entities that we're talking about. So Lizzie, you're, no, you're, no, you're actually, you're actually going against your very own principle. No, this is the very definition no, no. of hypocrisy. No, when a person says that I do something according to this principle, and when she breaks her own principle, does it say three persons in there? No, it doesn't. It doesn't say three persons. You put it together. It's self-explanatory. It's not. The context and it's self-explanatory from the rest of Scripture that the name is referring to the name of God Almighty, of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, all of whom are divine and all are part of the Godhead. Three persons in one God is perfectly self-explanatory. It doesn't sorry, say three persons. You don't like it. I'm sorry. Okay. So basically, she like cannot it. answer the question. Why it is three clever. persons? The reason, the reason she cannot answer that question is because it doesn't say three persons anywhere in the Old or the New, uh, New Testament. Now Lizzie might want to say and insist that this is in the Bible, but she's unable to show us anywhere in the Old Testament or the New Testament where God is defined as three persons in one. Now she's saying this is the name of God. You know the name, if she insists that the name is Yahweh, guess what guys? Especially the Christians out there, the name Yahweh it's not in there the in the Bible. New Testament. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. The but the name that she's alluding to is not in the New Testament from the words that she read. So she's now making this false allegation against the New Testament and against the Bible that these three persons are called one name. Are you telling me, Lizzie, that Yahweh died on the cross? Yes. Yahweh died on the cross? Yes. Okay. So who was the father? Wait, wait. No, it's not the same topic still. It's about whether you would tell me that these three persons are in the Bible or not. And you, you know, when I asked you, when I asked you, do they have the same, wait, wait, remember this. So they have the same name, they have the same name, yes, which is also not in the Bible. It's just alluding to that in the name of X, Y, and Z. Why then you cannot answer my question about the consciousness of God? 
which is also not categorically mentioned in the Bible. But you seem to know their names. But you don't know whether they have the same consciousness or they have different consciousness, each one of them. A very simple question, Lissy. I'm sure you will be able to answer because if Jesus said, I by my will can do nothing, that tells you that his will and the will of the Father is different. In the Garden of Gethsemane, when Jesus, the one that she's claiming to be better than Allah, yes, when he falls on his face, when he falls on his face and he begs his God, what does he beg his God? Take, just a minute. When he begs his God to take the cup of punishment away from him, yes, guess what? This powerful God of Lizzie, yes, his prayer rejected. Not one time, not two times, not three times. And you know what Jesus said at that moment as well? Let it be your will, not my will. So there you go. So Jesus is not all powerful. He cannot even get his own prayer accepted. He gets it rejected three times. And on the, on the cross, he cries out like a person without faith. My God, he didn't say my father, remember. He said, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Your powerful God got abandoned by his God. Guess what? After the very promise that he gave to his son, i.e. that if you die for the sins, that sins will be taken away. When the job was done, he got abandoned. He got abandoned for the very thing that he was created to do, according to the Christian scriptures. So there we go. Jesus was abandoned by his God, was denied the prayer. I'm talking about how, how less powerful your God is. And he doesn't have the same consciousness. Well, I said, I'm still about the being. That this being is not the same as the Almighty God who rejected his prayer. This is not the same being whom Jesus addresses as my God. Because in John 20, 17, he says, I go to my God and your God. Again, God cannot have a God. If Lizzie's, if this is Lizzie's logic that God, Jesus can have a God, then you are a polytheist who believes in more than one God. If you believe that God, the Father, has a different consciousness to the Son and a different consciousness that to the Holy Spirit, then again we are talking about tritheism, three gods, polytheism. And that's the reason you guys are called kuffar in the Quran because you disbelieve in the oneness of Allah. And that's the reason you'll be destined for hellfire if you maintain this as your faith. Preaching, preaching, oh, preaching, preaching. You see, Hashim, I learned from you, you, really, you like to preach? Really speak on one preaching. topic. He, could, he had to go to yeah, Gethsemane, and he had to go to all over the place. But actually, I'm just going to pick up on one topic. You had to preach. First of all, first of all. I think with this, we get. Yeah, yeah. Just chill. Yeah. Stop Lizzie, just chill. Just chill. But you need, you need like. Jesus, you make a point and I make a point and then you point. So, I don't have a problem. 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 As a Trinitarian, which the Bible clearly teaches not in the Bible. I don't have a problem she says with Jesus praying the to God, the second person know, of the Godhead but even praying to the first the Trinity, person of the Father. And I actually know Jesus' prayers wasn't rejected, that wasn't it at all. Jesus submitted his will to the Father because he was perfectly submitted to him. And he carried out after knowing God on ten. That he said, the reason my Father loves me is because I lay down my life. Nobody takes it from me, but I lay down my life of my own accord. Okay? That's why he does it. He's not rejected, he's not forced into it. That's why I love Jesus, because he's the perfect model of submission for us today and he did it for us he did it for Muslims he did it for you and me so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life so I'm going to take her I'm going to take her have you noticed I speak to her okay. not the camera but she, she does that every time instead of her, she, she asked me she approached me for a debate and then she speaks to the camera this is the tactic of Lizzie who goes around hunting near the masjid for, for Muslims who don't know who, don't, who, are, who are not into apologetics or, polit or, or polemics she goes and hunts for them but when she's faced in in the, in the speaker's corner, she's given the opportunity to talk to us who have got experience dealing with Christians and apologetics. No, I don't go out. I don't go to the churches and approach and unsuspecting Christians like the way she does. So are you going to talk to me or to the camera? Yes, and I'm going to ask you this point. Because you said, and this is what you say to Christians all the time, which is, how can God have a God? How can 
God, have Clothing. a God. You know what? I've them. asked myself that same well, Jesus question. Good. Good. Let's see. Hope you got the answer. It is he who sends. How can Allah have a God? Somebody, how can Allah oh, Another topic? Please, answer me, Mr. Where does it say Allah has a God? Allah has a God. Do you think Allah has a God? Where does Allah have a God? It is he, Allah, who sends Salat his prayers. That means prayers. Don't tell me it means blessings because the Arabic doesn't mean blessings. Which word is that? Blessing is, it means blessings in Arabic is barakah. This is salat, which is just prayer. Okay, it is, which he, chapter who is, who is sends, it is he who sends salat, his prayers oh, that on you. Allah sends his prayers on Muhammad. Allah is the biggest mushrik that there ever was. Not only is he sending salat, but he is committing shirk. Can you tell me why Allah has so you know Arabic? You know, do you know Arabic, Lizzie? You use an Arabic expert. You use an Arabic word. Wait, I mean, I mean, no, you made a, you made a claim. I want to clarify that. You use the word salat. Yes. When we say you saluna ala nabi. Yes. What does it mean? Let's see if you know Arabic. Don't know, but you're avoiding. I'm not. I'm asking a question because she used an Arabic word. She used an Arabic word and she translated it by herself. What does the word salat mean? Can I show you? In English, there are different kinds of prayers. What kind of prayer is it? Worship to send you. It it does. It does. So, okay, I think it means worship. Speak Allah is sending his worship. She doesn't have the ability. Speak to him. Allah is sending his worship upon Muhammad. It gets even worse. Oh, Allah has a God think. and his God is a human creature. Yeah. 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 That's a really that is a terrible thing. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. 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 Y
someone yeah. and send salat yeah. upon so someone. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? No, I, wanna, I haven't finished. Salat. Wait, I, I use the word salat. I didn't use the word prayer. I said that's the word salat. So stop interrupting and try to understand. Because the Arabic expert failed miserably. So I don't expect you, the one who doesn't know the ABC of Arabic, to give any better answers. So last time, you know, last time, last, was it her? Was it her? And, uh, and uh, who's the other guy? Who's your partner in crime? Are you kidding me? Not Hatun. The stooge. Daniel, Daniel. Daniel, Daniel. 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 Yeah, Daniel. You and Daniel came and approached me and Sheikh Muhammad regarding the same topic. You know why everyone was laughing at you in the comment section, <laughs> including the people that who know Arabic who are Christians? <laughs> yes, because when they realized what she was actually saying and what the Arabic expert was saying, when when the word, you know why why Sheikh Muhammad asked the Arabic expert the word Allah? Yes, he says in the Salat Ala Nabi. When he says Ala Nabi, it means. Greetings upon the messenger, depending on the context, because the context makes it clear whether it's prayer or it is greetings, it's salutation or it's worship. It is the context which makes it clear. But, but because she doesn't know Arabic, the reason she insists this is because that is what J. Smith taught her to keep lying. If you lie more often, then people start believing you. But we are Muslims. We don't go by that crazy logic. We can correct them of our faith. Okay. So now, what was the second thing she said? She said that the Quran doesn't have consciousness because. Certain, no, no, she's right. Certain verses on the day of Qiyamah and the Quran itself will actually be transformed into a man and he will, he, that, per, that uh, transformation. I'm answering for you. I'm answering for you. Okay? So, Lizzie, 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 why you stay for me? Calm down. So, that Quran will intercede for you on the Yawm al Qiyamah, on the day of judgment. And you know what? This which is not the. Can I finish? Oh, I'll tell you which one. I'll yeah. tell you which one. Yeah, which the only one that we uh, actually read, which is the Al Quran. What Quran? Uh, one Quran. Uh, is it the Do you know Arabic, by the way? Do you know Arabic? So the Quran no is that Arabic. No so no reason you're asking so which you know Quran, because they have different Bibles. Yes. So they think we have the same thing. Yes. We have one Quran. <laughs> So all the lies that they spread is completely wrong. So now going back to what she claimed that the Quran has consciousness. You know what? This is in on the Yawm al Qiyamah. It is not only the Quran, which is actually the reward of those who recite the Quran. On the day of Qiyamah, it is also the wait, wait, wait. It is also all the recitation. It is also the. Uh, it is also the. the what do you say? The fasting. You know, stop you know when, you, when you were talking, I did not interrupt. Yes. Can you give me the same courtesy? Okay. Yeah. okay. Stop changing the topic. Well, if you got confusion, you know where to sort it out. There's something yeah, called a hospital no, there. No. Okay. <laughs> so now, because what do you do when you keep lying? When you keep lying about the Islam and about the Quran and about the Hadith, this is what happens. You get confusion because they do not go to the right sources. They go to these pseudo Arabic scholars, yes, Arabic experts who don't know the meaning of the word Allah. Okay? That's where you go. So now, listen, listen. That's where your coming from. Bro, bro, wait. Listen, answering I, Islam. I know, I know, it's answering Islam. That's, that's been done and dusted a long time ago. But they, they still go back and regurgitate yes. the same yeah, thing. So now we have the, the fasting, which will come in the form of a man as well. Not even listening. Yes. Walking. Isn't it walking? Fasting. Fasting will come in the form of a man. You know what will happen? This fasting is again the good deeds of the people who fast, which will come in the form of a man. Not the fasting itself, but the reward from the fasting. The reward also from the, not, not the Quran itself, not the speech of Allah, like Bob the Builder tried to say. Bob the Builder said that this is the speech of Allah becoming into, uh, the eternal uh, speech of Allah is now transforming into a man. Just like Jesus transformed from God to a flesh and he died by his own creation. It's not like that. This is the good deeds, which is basically the recitation. You know, when you recite, which is easy for the Prophet said, say when you read that. the three letters of the Quran, like Alif, Lam, Mim, each letter you get ten rewards. Not three letters is ten rewards. Each letter is ten rewards. So if you read Alif, Lam, Mim, three letters, you get thirty rewards. And these are the good deeds of that person who's reciting the Quran, which will now transform into a man and intercede on his or her behalf. So there you go, Lizzie. All these wrong interpretations of the hadith, you really have to get off your high horse and try to read. You know that Islam QA website which you went to? Go and read from that side. The one that you were really reluctant to see the meaning of. Because the detail was there already. That hadith was there. Because the Muslims have asked but the they don't questions. Want to read but they don't want to. They want to remain in their own world, you know. Go and stay in your own 
echo chamber and you will not learn anything. Try to come out of it. Try to learn from the authentic sources. That's the reason in the Bible you are unable to answer clear questions. If there is one God, then surely he has one consciousness. Okay, but she doesn't know that. Can I respond? To what? To your renting. My renting. Oh, you want well, where I destroyed your argument. Okay, Karen. No, if only, if only, if only. So well, I, you know, again, you know when I, wait, wait. I did tell you, Lizzie, that you're going to say one and I'm going to say that one and, and then you should stop your, the discussion. Yeah, you had your, you had your chance. No, no, I, you had your earlier already. No, I think we should stop the discussion because I don't think she's able to answer questions. questions to Christians all the time. Oh, how can God have a God? You know, and he also you saying, you know, isn't it ridiculous that some yeah, that's Jesus what we're asking. Why Jesus has a God? If God, God have and a God. yet, I tell you what is more ridiculous. I tell you what is more ridiculous. That makes perfect sense for the Trinitarian God. But what's even more ridiculous is that if God can have a God, then why Jesus has a God? Are you talking back, God, are you talking back to the camera? The Allah, okay, okay. Have you got a problem talking to the person you wanted to debate? How can you? Okay, repeat your question, I didn't hear. Okay. What is more ridiculous? No, the I know that you find it, you find it a joke and silly that Christians, that Jesus can talk to the Father, for example, who is the Father, for example. No, I didn't say that was silly, I never said that was silly. Of course Jesus can talk to God. How can you, like, talk to God? Like, what's more ridiculous? Do you believe in the world? 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 Which is not in the Bible? Yes. Which you are unable to show me. I have shown you. No, you haven't. The Great Commission doesn't say the three are one. It doesn't say it's God. The only thing she could say is that one name. She said Jesus is Yahweh. Which is not answering the question. Oh, please, the word ask your question. Stop making it on the version. Answer your question. Ask your question. Come on. It's talking about God and it's talking about He has one name. They are Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. By the way, this is what Ali Dawa would call the Janaza of Lizzie. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, By the way, Janaza means funeral. Oh, I need that. You don't need that. Good. At least you know some Arabic. And I know what you know what Salat is? Okay, I think you should go and reconsult another Arabic expert, not the pseudo expert the last time you met. I hope you didn't pay. At least I, do, I hope you took the money back. Okay, so here's the thing. No, no, not Alan Nabi, to us, all humanity. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. But she'll use the same argument. Okay, okay. Same, the same words. So God praying to me. Let's go for an Abidi. Abidi. You were telling me, no, you were telling me with a straight face. I do find this funny. They tell me with a straight face that Alan Nabi is the one. And yet the Quran is the Alan Nabi speech. No, I'm bigger than the Quran. Comes to life and argues with Allah. It's with Allah. In the Quran. In the Quran. In the Quran. Allah's speech is talking to him. Like sock puppet, you know. It says that in the Quran. Can you show me which verse? Comes to life. Can you show me which verse the Quran talks? Alice's eternal speech talks to Allah. Hello, Allah, how are you doing? And yet this is Alice's eternal speech. She knows that. Isn't that mad? And this is a lie. Are you going to show me the verse? Are you telling me that Allah is one? I just find. Show me the verse then. Show me the verse where it says the Quran speaks to Allah. She asked me like a multiple questions and I get no chance to ask her any questions. Now she's going to run away. Okay, so I think it's only fair that I ask you a question instead of you asking me another one. I can quite easily answer that question after I ask you this. You know, eternal speech has conscience. Where's the evidence for that? Where's the evidence for that? I'll take away that I've already answered that. Now she's, now she's going back to the same argument which has been demolished already. You have come here. No, you have come here. At the end of the day, she used the same argument that Dr. Builder uses. That the Quran intercedes for the believers. Do it for the same reason. At the end of the day, you have to ask another question.